I've sat here in the few minutes that we've been together already and quoted a few times the Apostle Paul. How many men have ever lived that have been used so gloriously or so much for the glory of God the Father? I'm telling you, and you may, don't forget, there is a man who is an enemy of God. There is a man who was an enemy of the church. That's right. That's right. Even as God, he, even as he encountered the risen Jesus Christ on the road to Damascus, he was on his way to persecute and, and hopefully kill Christians. Mm. And yet God had chosen him as a vessel. Do you think that there's somebody in ISIS that God can't correct, change, and Absolutely. bring? Yeah. Yes. Nothing is impossible with God. That's right. So we're not supposed to be praying. We're not supposed to be praying against them. We're supposed to be praying for them, that they will have a road to Damascus experience and meet the Prince of Peace, because they have been deceived. They have been fooled by that liar, that one who is a liar by nature and the father of lies. Where is our compassion? Where is our love? Where is it? Where is our memory of the fact that Jesus Christ hung on a cross and said, "Father, forgive them," and He was pointing to you. He was pointing to me. He was pointing to everybody who's ever lived. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. That whosoever will. Our job is not to bring death to them. Our job is to bring life to them. Reconciliation. Because our war is not against us. Our war is not against flesh and blood. Our war is against principalities. Our war is against that yeah. devil. And by the way, you might want to write this one down. Mm -hmm. He's already been defeated. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. That's why it says in Hebrews, pursue peace with quite a few men. Yeah. All men. Pursue peace with the people you like. Pursue peace with the people that think like you. No. It says, pursue peace with all men and the sanctification without which no one will see the Lord. This is what we've got to be doing. This is the Sermon on the Mount. Paul wrote to, to, to his son in the faith, Timothy, and he said in 2 Timothy chapter 3, he said that all scripture is God-breathed and profitable. It's profitable for correction. It's profitable for training in righteousness. Mm -hmm. This is the training in righteousness. When Jesus had... Jesus, it's time. Hallelujah. This time. Man, that's your warning to be praying for your enemies. Amen. It is time. Time is running out. It is time. It's, you know, we, we need to be in that place. We're being trained in righteousness. Righteousness is the imitation of Jesus Christ. The Sermon on the Mount is about understanding the teaching of Jesus. This is what he expects in our life. Over and over he said, you've heard it said, but I say to you. Religion has been teaching something that misses the mark for a long, long time. But the Spirit of God who is sent to lead us into all truth is teaching us this. That you and I, believers, sons of God, people filled with the Spirit of God, that our ministry is to be bringing a message of peace. Peace with God. Peace with God. You know, this world is going to pass away. That's what it says. This present world is, talk about global warming. This present world is reserved for destruction by fire, the Apostle Peter says. That's global warming. And our desire is not to save a city here or a city there. Our desire, us, is to see men and women and children come to a saving knowledge of Jesus Christ that will take them in peace through all eternity. Thank you, Jesus. Are you a Bible-believing Christian? My dear sister-in-law, are you a Bible-believing Christian? Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. And my dear wifey, are you a Bible-believing Christian? Yes. How about this one? you believe this one? Never, never pay back evil to, for evil to anyone. Respect what is right in the sight of all men. If possible, so far as it depends on you, be at peace with all men. As much as possible. As much as possible. But we are not to repay evil for evil. It says if your enemy is hungry, give him something to eat. If your enemy is thirsty, give him a drink. Okay? The, the key there, of course, is, as Alice points out, it depends on you. It's not in your power to control the actions of others. You can be at peace with others. That doesn't mean that they're going to be at peace with you.